Okay. So I think everybody's talking about tariffs and the reason why the market's been sort of sketchy over the last week and a half is because of these China tariffs. I disagree. If you go back to the Fed statement on Wednesday, ever since that statement, the market's sort of been on edge. And I think it's more Fed than China. But the last couple of days, tech has led. Obviously, Fang has been on fire. That sort of scares me. You have leadership in a very specific area. Rest of the market, not so much. VIX, seemingly nobody cares. Sort of sets up for a market that, you know, might t take people by surprise to the downside. I mean, it's small caps and tech that is leading this market. To your point, is it time to diversify or stay with what's working? Well, time to diversify. I think if you've ridden this wave in, in tech, specifically a name like Facebook, I think it's prudent to take some money off the table. Listen, Facebook on valuation makes a lot of sense, but the move from 155 to 202 since the Senate testimony to me is much too much too fast, and I think you got to take some money off the table. All right, so what, what happens? You're, you're talking about, is this a trader's market now? Or, or, it's always or been. It, I think I mean, it's, look, for me, it's always a trader's market. I mean, you know, if you've been an investor, you've done very well. Obviously, the last couple months have been sideways to slightly lower. The market's been fine. But I do think it's a trader's market. But listen, the moves we've seen, look at the move in Netflix. Look at the move in Tesla over the last week, two weeks. It's been unbelievable. So again, if you're a trader, if you don't take money off the table when you see moves like that, I think you're playing the game wrong. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.